What's shaking, folks? T Biz here. We've got actually some new reaction figures. I haven't bought any reaction figures in quite some time. There's been actually quite a few to come out, and I haven't bought any in a while, so this this should be pretty interesting. Uh, there's still some I want to get, but hey, they had this uh, new wave, I believe wave three of uh, Ninja Turtles, so couldn't I couldn't help but to not pass it up, man. This is this is just too ridiculous. You've got Casey Jones, which this is awesome, dude. I always love Casey Jones, especially in the movie. It should be pretty rad. Really like this figure. Kind of wish he came with the cricket bat, but oh well. It's still cool. He, it looks like he has a uh, hockey stick and a uh, torn up baseball bat. But either way, it's still pretty cool. Still iconic Turtles character and still awesome. And once again, the art is done by Turbo Pork. So at Turbo Pork, if you want to follow them on Instagrams or whatever. And there's Casey Jones, Vital Sportistics. Broken bats, golf club. So it's a golf club? No, it's a hockey stick. Anyways, height 6'2", 235, 235 pounds with loaded golf bag. I was about to say, I weigh more than that right now. <laughs> and I was like, Casey Jones doesn't look like, I don't have abs like that, man. So I was about to say. <laughs> Anyways, uh, favorite sport team, uh, Mudville Slingers. Uh, favorite food, shake and bake chicken. Favorite, sw that reminds me of Derek. It's funny. Favorite swing, Grand Slam, batting average, count the splinters. Rad. Here's some more figures that have recently come out. So, yeah, once again, just like the old school packaging, which is awesome. And this one's rad. I couldn't pass this up because I actually used to have this figure. I sold it years ago, but I actually used to have the, the Sewer Samurai Leo, or I just called him the Samurai Leonardo. Yeah, this is rad. This is a cool figure. Really unique sculpt once again. So, we're getting something totally different. The card art on these is also just ridiculously amazing. As I mentioned, Turbo Pork. All kinds of just, I don't know, it's neat. So you see the little red eyes of, I guess, some rats back there. Yeah. Kind of the same background for uh, Casey Jones, too, as well. well. That should be a fun figure to check out. And next is Sewer Surfer, Sewer Surfer Mike. Michelangelo, this is hilarious, man. I remember this figure too. I never had it, but yeah, it's rad that they're paying homages to these old school characters or these old school variants. They got a Calabunga surfboard or wakeboard, I guess you could say. Is that a surfboard or wakeboard? Are both the same thing. Once again, all kinds of little weird odds and ends. Got some seaweed or something coming off of Mike and uh, it's like a fish, a little weird shark. Yeah, crazy. And yeah, let's go ahead and see the, oh, Sewer Surfer Mike, Vital Surfistics, Accessory Surfboard, the, the Crab, Wave Whipping, Water Flinging Wheel, see Favorite Snack, Plankton Pizza, Favorite Beach, Turtle Head, oh, that's funny, uh, Favorite Movie, Bailing in Bombay, Mission, he's been working hard to blast the foot, and now he's ready to blast the beach, Sewer Surfer style, that's right. <laughs> I forgot to read uh, Leo's. Let's see. Sewer Samurai Leo. Samurai Battle Commander. Weapon Samurai Sword. Favorite food, sushi pizza. That's gross. Uh, favorite art, Marshall. That's funny. Uh, favorite movie, The Seven Samurai. Uh, let's see. It's mission. The Champion of the Chainmail. Ha! He uses uh, his sword to swing. Samurai skills to skewer... The foot and scarf sushi pizza pies. Oh, crazy. And next we have, actually, this one's crazy. I don't remember this figure as much or this character or this version of the foot soldier. I don't know why, but this is pretty rad. Um, I believe, I don't know, somebody will point it out to me at some point. But yeah, this is like a cyborg, uh, pretty much a uh, foot clan guy. He's not a human, obviously, underneath there. It's like a robot. That's pretty neat. That's cool. Uh, the art, you can see all the wiring and stuff like that. It's pretty neat and all the details and stuff. That's pretty cool. I like him. It's kind of got like a Vader, like, breather mask going. That's cool. Let's go ahead and read his vital statistics. Let's see. Busted Foot Soldier, Shredder's Robot, Robotic Ninja Minions, Vital Scraptistics, uh, Turtle Shell Biter. That's what his weapon is. Height 6 when still standing. Let's see. They mean six inches or six feet. That's funny. Um, 
175 pounds with all parts intact. Okay, mission. Foot soldiers exist to carry out the master, master Shredder's evil criminal plans and to destroy those blasted turtles all while avoiding total wreckage. All right, let's get these bad boys open. And here they are, folks, in all their turtley awesomeness. This is rad, dude. I really like this foot soldier, man. He's I love the fact that he's kind of got this almost Vader-esque look on the, on his face. If you look closely, he's, it's pretty neat, man. Kind of scary, dark, but yeah, really cool. That's cool, man. I always want to army build these guys, but they're like super duper expensive, man. I mean, they're, yeah, like at least 18 to 20 bucks. And like, yeah, it's kind of pricey to army build, but ugh, one day, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I definitely always want to army build these guys. And here's Michelangelo with the surfboard. <laughs> That's a horrible surf song, but... Yeah, he's got little sharks hanging off of him. That's rad. He's got a crap-eating grin. That's hilarious. That's funny. His belt. Got an M right there. That's cool. I like his little surfboard. It's rad, too. And you can use it with other figures, too, which is cool. So that's, that's always awesome. That is awesome. Here's a little octopus on his foot. And he comes with... Uh, Starfish, star thrower, or shuriken, or whatever. Throwing star. Whoops. Where'd that go? Anyways. <laughs> and um, a little crab. A little crabby crab. It's actually stuck to my hand because of the tape. But yeah, I got a little crab, so that's cool too. Next up is Leonardo in his samurai gear. Yeah, this figure's cool. I had this back in the day, man. And this sculpt is unique. This whole figure has just got a unique sculpt. So that's really rad. Really nice. And you get decent accessories with him. So you get a shield. So that's pretty cool. And he gets a sword and scabbard. So that's... Actually, the sword comes out. So that's really cool. They didn't really... Uh, they didn't cheese out on that, which is awesome. And I'm not sure if I could fit it around his head and his arm, but we'll give it a try. Let's see. I don't know if this will work. Yeah, that works. Yeah, it totally works. So, yeah, you can do that. That's cool. That is awesome, man. Next we have Casey Jones. Yeah, I'm stoked for Casey Jones because this guy you could um you could have him square off with your Mezco Warrior guys or whatever. So that's really cool too. Or your Marvel figs, your three-inch Marvel figs, stuff like that. Yeah, really rad, man. Looks pretty much like the the toy. A lot like a comic and the toy, so that's really cool, like the vintage toy. I would really like to see some uh, more figures though. I'd like to see Ace Duck. That would be rad. Um, let's see, Rat King. Uh. Obviously, Leatherhead would be cool. Um, just basically all the real popular old school, like Muckman, again, you know, that'd be pretty rad. Um, is it Mutagen Man? That would be cool too. Just, yeah, many more. There'd be a lot of really cool characters I'd like to see. But yeah, that's cool. I like the face sculpt on uh, Casey Jones. Looks pretty, pretty gnarly, pretty intimidating. But yeah, that's it for uh, Wave 3, man. Stoked about these. It's really cool. I'm not sure what else is coming out soon. Hopefully we'll see. I wanted to see like the Biggie Smalls and the Run DMC and all that stuff. Don't know when that's ever going to happen. And uh, the Monsters and stuff like that. So, yeah. I know, uh, at least not Super 7, but I know Mezco will be seeing that uh, Batman 66 old school wave soon. And um, an Ultraman, so that'll be fun as far as the scale figures go. But other than that, man, I always love the Turtles. These are rad. These are really cool. And I'd rather collect these versus, I like the NECA stuff, but man, that NECA stuff's kind of expensive, kind of kind of pricey. But these, not so much, not so much in that way, I don't think. Anyways, thanks for watching, y'all. More reviews definitely coming up soon, hopefully, if not tonight, maybe tomorrow or within the week. Anyways, thanks for watching, y'all, and have a good one. All right, later.